All right, so I've got a little pre-workout meal here. 225 grams of rice, jasmine rice, 210 grams of chicken, and a little bit of almond butter. And we also have banana. And this is really good. A banana is really good. One, because the potassium is gonna kind of like prevent you from cramping. And it's also a fast acting carb. So it's gonna be used up really quick. But, you know, super simple, nothing special. But the best way to make the chicken is, I'm telling you right now, smoked paprika, a little bit of salt, garlic, uh, garlic powder and onion powder. Toss in the air fryer, let it chill. And it just, you get this beautiful piece of chicken uh, when it's done. But I'll probably, you know, I'll leave this like 25 to 30 minutes before my workout, just so I can get my pre-workout in like 10, 15 minutes before I get to the gym. And I'll stretch, move around a bit, let the food digest, let the pre starts to kick in, and I'll jump in my workout. But, you know, I just, I forgot to say, fucking salt but uh, with this the carbs from the rice and the carbs from the banana and a bunch of salt I'm gonna get a nice juicy chest pump today and you know this is the majority of my carbs throughout the day I get 180 grams of rice post-workout and then 225 pre-workout so you know that's what I'm using the most of my energy so that's why I need uh, carbs and this just looks like heaven right now so I'm about to eat this Go to the gym, stretch a little bit, and then jump right into the workout. So, I'll see you there. We've got some chest today and usually start off on the pec deck. That's where we're at now. Did one warm up set, super lightweight. A second set with like a moderate weight. And I felt really good. And that's pretty much how I judge where I'm going with the weight. I'll usually do either a warm up set, another warm up set, so three, or I'll jump into my first top set. And I was feeling good, so I jumped into the first top set and uh, I ran three of those. Uh, at like a 12 to 15 rep range and my chest is feeling super pumped right now, which is really good It's the main point of this machine in my opinion I like to hop on this get my get my chest full of blood and uh, just get a prime for the next movement Which is gonna be like a heavy compound like a like dumbbell incline and uh, This is the best way to warm up for it Okay, yep. Oh, 
So I prefer incline dumbbell over a flat bench, either dumbbell or barbell, and even the incline barbell. I prefer the dumbbells just because it takes a lot of stress off of your shoulders, it makes it feel a lot better. And you know, I have a bunch of shoulder issues just from just being stupid when I was younger. And the incline dumbbell is like the key for building a good chest. And uh, you know, it's just something I feel really good. I don't need to change it up if it's, not, if it's not broken. So I did two top sets here, hit 125 for eight last week and I was pushing it. And I felt like, I felt, I, I don't know, I felt either weak last week or this week just strength shot up a bit. But I did 125s for 10 first set and then my second top set I did 130 for eight and I don't know where that came from I'm feeling really good right now it took a little bit of pre and uh, I have cut down on caffeine a bit but especially this hour it's just about like eight o'clock now I think it's just about eight well I did take a little bit of pre and uh, took a bunch of pump so maybe that's helping maybe it was a pec deck before this but just feeling overall really good today and uh, I'm seeing progression just about every week and you know, something's working, something's working. So it's a good little PR, PR on the day. feel in my outer chest a lot are those body weight dips and I did four sets there and I think my first set I did somewhere between a range of 20 to 25 reps um, and since I was going to failure every single set the amount of reps I was doing each set dropped down a lot so first one I got 20 25 like I said and then the last one my fourth set I think I got about eight but I sat in the stretch uh, for a decent amount of time towards the end there and it's just a really good way to finish off the movement when you have nothing left in the tank. But now we are on the prime press. And this is another thing where I just, I just feel it really good, like everywhere in my chest. And since I went pretty heavy on the dumbbells, I'm not too sure how heavy I'm gonna go here. I might just go for a nice contraction, really just squeeze my chest. Because at this point in the workout, I think I'm about four movements deep, five movements deep. And my CNS is a little taxed, so to get the most out of it, I'm gonna go as heavy as I can, but if you know, if I go a little too heavy, I don't think I'm gonna get the most out of it. So I'll probably just bump it down, bump the weight down a little bit. And I just really wanna squeeze the entire time, sit in the stretch for a second and just explode out of the hole. <sighs> I'll probably keep the weight around there. I didn't get as many reps as I wanted to. And if I move the weight up, I'm probably not gonna go anywhere. So I wanna stick, I'll probably try to hit like a 12 to 15 here, 12 to 15 rep range. 
and on the last few or the first few i'm really going to squeeze it and get a good contraction to the top and then the last few i'm going to really control the negative so it's going to burn your chest really nice biceps are fried right now. Sheesh. Those first few bicep curls we did two sets ago, not two sets, two workouts ago, those got me good. We did a little superset with hammer curls there, but that peak contraction that I'm trying to get, like that squeeze is just fucking burning. I can like barely get it up. But this is a really good superset with the easy bar and then the cable right here, because you can toss some weight with the easy bar, but when it gets too heavy, you can go to a lighter weight on the cable. And that's when you can like, because your biceps are tired, you can really get a good squeeze on the cable there. So this combo is, is really good. Similar movement, but the contraction on that is just crazy. So that was a chest workout and you know, that pre-workout meal, uh, it usually gets me through my entire lift. I'm feeling it a little bit today where I'm hungry towards the end. Um, I did push it a little longer than I wanted to. I've been here for about almost two hours now, um, but I'm usually in and out of here within like an hour 30. So usually holds me till then, but like I said, I'm feeling it today. I don't know, overall good chest workout, can't complain. It's always a good day when you're hitting chest and biceps. Probably the best pump you're ever gonna get. When your chest is full, your biceps are nice and pumped up. It's just a great feeling. So I highly recommend watching this video and then going to the gym to hit chest and biceps. But like I said, overall, that's the chest workout and it's basic. I feel like when you stick to the basics, it's just the easiest thing. Super simple movements. Try not to overcomplicate it with any, you know, like super scientific shit. Just pick up the weight, move the weight, get a nice contraction, get a nice stretch, and go on to the next thing. And uh, if you're not feeling the next thing, find something that you do feel. So that's pretty much what it's all about. If you're feeling the movement or not, getting a good contraction or not. And uh, that's the goal here. Trying to just grow a big chest, feel the movements, move some good weight, and uh, overall just have a good time. But damn, I'm not gonna hit chest for another four days. It's a sad feeling, but the time will come again. It'll come again, the pump will return pump is already there so it might it'll probably stay till shit it's 8 45 right now i have the pump for the rest of the night so it's always a good thing but thank you guys for watching thank you for tuning in thank you for the support and i hope you liked the video if there's anything that you want to see any, any type of video let me know shoot me a dm say something in the comments you know anything anything but like i said thank you guys for watching you're the best i'll see you next time